We've got to keep up with family tradition. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am finally getting around to making my like homemade DIY for our family gift exchange. And I thought I would just kind of bring you guys along with me. This is actually like a backup plan. So yesterday I was actually working on my hopefully successful main craft which is going to be like a cement tray with gold handles. My dad was helping me. We had this very thin piece of wood and he like helped me like screw in or make the holes for the hardware that I bought from Lowe's, I believe. And I will have like a full tutorial on like how I made it on my crafting channel. And I have made these before and I'll explain this in a second, but they're on my crafting channel as well. So if you want like a tutorial on how to make the stuff I'm talking about today, make sure you head on over to Lima Bean Crafting. But for those of you guys who are new here, um, this is actually for a family tradition that we started a couple years ago. I'd like to take credit that it was kind of my idea like initiating this family tradition and it was inspired by a craft that my uncle made that my, my mom and dad have like hanging around the house. He made this little um, cross made with matchsticks that were like burned in a variety of ways and he's passed. I've actually never met this uncle and I just thought that it was really cool that we have like a piece of him in our home. So my idea was why not instead of you know spending tons and tons of money on stuff that we could buy for ourselves, why not make something and use our like crafty and creative skills as a family and do like a gift exchange that way. So we've done this for like two years now. This is the third year. We're still trying to figure out the best way to go about distributing these gifts. We don't really want it to be like a white elephant. And so we've made modifications to like the white elephant game, but it's kind of white elephant-y. So my, my first year, I actually think I made like a type of crayon art in like a Dollar Tree frame, um, like three piece set. And then last year I made these cement planters. And then, like I said, this year, my goal is to have a cement tray with this nice hardware. I really don't know how it's gonna turn out. I still have to do the cement. Like I said, yesterday we kind of did all the screwing in and um, also sealing the wood so that the cement doesn't totally ruin it. So hopefully that will be a success, but I don't know if I'm gonna get around to the cement today. I just laid Aubrey down and it's I'm already exhausted um, for those of you guys who don't know I'm like 38 weeks pregnant tomorrow when I'm filming and um, yeah I'm just I'm worn out so in case my cement craft just totally bombs I am making um, a pairing of uh, calendar magnets so I got these calendars from the Dollar Tree these were pretty popular there's the farmer's market one and then the farm fresh one. I think the farm fresh one is like the most popular because it has the truck and that's really in right now. But pretty much what you do is you cut out the little pictures on the back that represent like each month's theme. And we're gonna take some Jenga blocks, glue three together, and then stick these that little squares on those and use Dollar Tree magnets to glue onto the back. And then I have an additional calendar to gift with the magnets so that whoever gets this present not only gets my homemade craft being all the cute little pictures in magnet form, but the calendar that goes with it for the upcoming year. So I'm, I liked kind of both of these and I figured I would just make both of them. So. That is what I'm gonna be working on today. And if I get around to it, I will take care of the cement because that does need to firm up. And uh, I'm doing this so late because our celebration actually isn't happening like Christmas Eve or Christmas day. It's gonna be a little bit later to accommodate family. So I have a little bit more time for this concrete to you know, solidify and firm up. And if I'm not feeling the cement or just can't get around to it, 
I have another little activity craft thing that I need to be throwing together for my nieces and nephews, like for their kind of gift. So I will make sure to bring you guys along with me on that as well. So before I even like cut out these little squares or anything, I need to get these wood pieces like glued together. So I have some pre-stained Jenga blocks that I use like all the time. And unfortunately I haven't been able to find like a duplicate of my wood stain, but I'm just gonna be using the Dollar Tree wood glue from Crafters Square, putting some on these blocks and securing them in groups of three and just kind of getting these all done and then I can move on to like the other crafts that I need to get done so that then when I'm done with those crafts, these will be dry and I can move on to the next step. So while I am gluing, I figured I would give you guys a little heads up on what's happening. I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, again, I'm 37 weeks and six days pregnant. And the last time that I gave you guys a little update on how I was doing, I had just gotten the news that Jack is measuring to be like in the 90 something seventh percentile or whatever. And that just really discouraged me because Aubrey was really big. I wasn't able to push her out. And I kind of feel like that was probably the reason I had a C-section with her. After getting that news, I've had two doctor's appointments. And based on what my doctor said, according to the research that he is familiar with, there are studies that show that if someone is induced at 38 weeks for a big baby, there's a higher chance of C-section than if you waited until 40 weeks and went into spontaneous labor and had the baby that way, even though the baby would then be bigger. And so I'm kind of like, feel a little gypped because I kind of feel like, why wasn't that taken into account with Aubrey? But I can't change it, so I'm just gonna try to let that go. And so my doctor's approach this time around, because I've had a C-section already, he said that he does not want to induce me because the drugs that are used to induce a woman, in my case, with who has had a previous C-section, there's a higher probability of a uterine rupture than if I go into labor spontaneously or like naturally. So he said he won't be inducing me. And if I go into labor naturally before 40 weeks, you know, the chances are better for me to have a VBAC and not have like a uterine rupture. And it's just overall better for my health. But if I don't go into labor naturally, then we'll have a planned C-section at 40 weeks. And honestly, I kind of feel like that will that will be best. Like if I'm gonna end up with a C-section, I'd rather it be planned than like, you know, going through 31 hours of labor again just to end up with a C-section. So, you know, it won't be the end of the world. At least that way I'll know, like I'll go in, I'll have, I'll have the C-section and then have Jack and move on, you know? Um, and if I go into labor naturally, then that's, it gives me at least hope that, hey, maybe my body is ready this time and I'll be able to push him out. So we'll see what happens there. I'm feeling much more at peace. So like, I really appreciate the prayers that you guys have been lifting up and, you know, sending my way. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm not like crying about it anymore. My doctor has also made me feel at peace. So, you know, we'll see what God has planned. Jack is head down. He's been head down for a while now. I've been having a lot of like pelvic pressure. So that's not really been fun. Yesterday specifically was like a lot of like pain and it might just be him moving around and because he's so low, it like hurts more. But yesterday was like especially painful, but it wasn't like what I would imagine a contraction being, since I really don't know what contractions feel like, even though I was induced with Aubrey. I had an early epidural because of other issues and I just don't really remember. So I, I feel like I'm pregnant for the first time all over again. But his heart rate today was really good. My blood pressure's good. So, you know, aside from my huge amount of weight gain over the course of this pregnancy, 
I'm looking well. I mean, I know that my family just kind of makes big babies in general, so hopefully this time will be different and more peaceful and, you know, we'll see what God has planned. But let me go ahead and finish up these little blocks and I'll bring you along to the next craft. Okay, so now that the little pictures are being glued on or drying to the Jenga blocks, I did go outside to see where my cement mix was. It's kind of, it's, it's not reachable by me with my big belly right now. And I'm gonna need some help like getting the supplies. So instead I'm gonna move on and work on a little craft that I'm doing for my nieces and nephews. Let me show you kind of like what it is and kind of describe what I'm gonna do. Okay, so today I picked up some foam board from Dollar Tree and then in a previous Dollar Tree run, I picked up some paper cups. I got a lot of like candies, some like random like squishies, a bath bomb. This is something that Aubrey has and you know, her some of her cousins really love playing with them. So I figured they would appreciate this as well. And in general, they just love gum. So I have some of these and then we're also gonna throw some cash into these cups and do like a surprise, like punch the cup Christmas tree thing. We're gonna cover the cups with some tissue paper that I got from Dollar Tree. Hopefully it'll look nice. I liked this little design. It wasn't super green, but it's kind of hard to find one that I liked. But I got my hot glue gun like heating up and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of space out the cups, see how I like it. And then once I figure out where exactly I want them to go, I'll have the hot glue ready and just easily secure them. And then it's just packing up the cups and topping them off with the tissue paper.
it is a new day. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it's like really raining outside. So that's why it looks like it's nighttime. And I have to trim off these sides of my magnets and we're gonna try to do the cement today. Even though it's raining outside, we're gonna be in the garage and it just might take a little bit longer to cure, but I gotta get started. And I think rain is in the forecast still for a number of other days. So I gotta get that done so that by the time that we actually have our little gift exchange, the cement is solidified. So let's go and work on the magnets and then hopefully I will have the ability to access my cement and do that last little step. So we're in the garage now. My dad is out here helping me. I have my little mold that I built and you guys will see the full tutorial on my um, crafting channel. But let me show you the what we created the last time and what we're gonna do now. So this is the wood piece. We have some little washers holding it up so that when we fill this in with cement, there'll be you know room still to put your fingers in and hold the actual tray. And this is gonna fit inside my little mold and hopefully it'll work out well. Well, that wraps up my three kind of holiday crafts that I needed to get done. So obviously the cement craft is not done yet, but we will be doing our little gift exchange sometime next week. And I'll try to at least, if not do like a full video, at least do a short showing all of the different crafts and creations that my family came up with. So you will see the final product there. Again, if you guys want the full tutorial on the cement tray, I will be posting that on my crafting channel. So stay tuned for that. The magnets are already up there, so there's actually two different versions that I've done. So, you know, you can check out some ideas on how to use those magnets. I do have some holiday treats that I want to make, but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to have the energy if I make these um, new versions like of hot cocoa bombs. And then as well as I want to make um, like a TikTok caramel apple like brittle type thing. I will definitely film it and let you guys know that probably will air after I've had Jack and just need like a little bit of a filming break, but stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get around to them and have the energy. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching and coming along on this two day journey of trying to get things done craft wise. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned for updates on baby Jack. Um, I am 38 weeks pregnant today. It's kind of like crazy cause this is the day that I was like induced with Aubrey and I would have had her like tomorrow. So I don't know what it's like to be any more pregnant than I already am. So I'm excited about that. And um, if you're new here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe and stay tuned for all this content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, 
That may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.